Hello Eurovision lovers and welcome back to Eurovision Debate with me, Podrick. Now, usually we are talking about the Eurovision Song Contest, but as we are approaching a new contest, the American Song Contest, I thought what better time than now to discuss that on this video. So join me in this video where we're going to be talking about all things American Song Contest. Oh, now I look like Homelander from the Netflix series, but I'm just getting into it and to this video is going to all be about um, different topics. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about the possible venues, the reason the American Song Contest is happening, the possible presenters, all different states competing, the types of songs, the interval act. Wow, there's so much to talk about on this video, so let's not delay, let's get on to it. So let's talk about the American Song Contest. The American Song Contest will be coming to our screens in 2022. At this point of my recording, this is a tentative date. Thought to be a direct descendant of the Eurovision Song Contest, the Eurovision was born from the San Remo Festival to promote harmony across the European nations following the devastation of World War II. 50 states and Washington DC, as well as their overseas territories, will compete, I guess, to promote togetherness with a spirit of friendly competition and fun. Of course, Eurovision has seen its fair share of American contestants. Who could forget Katrina from Katrina and the Waves? Andres Calais Saunders, who represented Hungary in 2014, Debbie Cameron, who sang alongside Tommy Sebak in for Denmark in 1981, and as a backing singer for Tommy in 1979, as well as the amazing Wes Johnson, who appeared alongside Dory Yetzi for Italy in 1975, and of course, a bit more recent as well, Calamira, who sang for Greece in 2008. Of course, those are just five, and there are, and there are also other um, American contestants who took part as well. Not to mention the recent interval acts: Madonna in 2019 and Justin Timberlake in 2016. So the Eurovision has had a fair share of Americans and has had a nod to America before now. And who could forget, let's not forget, Will Ferrell from the amazing, funny Fire Saga. NBC is the host network and NBC is also the TV network of Universal Studios. Krista Bjorkman, who has been a huge contributor to the Melody Festival as well as Eurovision and also appeared as a contestant in both the Melody Festival and ESC. So he will bring a lot of knowledge to this contest. The American Song Contest is the same idea as the Eurovision in terms of states will choose an original song to compete for a Grand Prix. There's so many to choose from, but here are just a few ideas. New York. The Barclays Centre in Brooklyn holds around 17,000 people. And what about the At 30 Rockefeller Plaza and the NBC headquarters, which is in New York? Miami has the FTX Arena, which holds approximately 20,000 people. How about Los Angeles, the entertainment capital of the world? What about the Staples Centre, which holds around 12,000 people? And San Francisco, often called the most European city in America. However, venues are quite small, but they could choose an outdoor stadium, like the Golden Gate Park. They'd have to put a roof on it, but that wouldn't be the first time a football arena or arena was used for a contest. Hello, parking. There are so many to choose from, and there are whole hosts of potential hosts. Pardon the pun. But what about Ryan Seacrest? Famous, of course, for American Idol. Chuck Todd, who's a political 
commentator and popular talent at NBC, Andy Cohen, who's heavily involved in the Real Housewives franchise. Or what about Heidi Klum, who was born in Germany, so there's a European connection, and she's also the judge of America's Got Talent. Just four names, and those are all at this moment speculation. So who knows who could be the presenter or presenters of the American Song Contest. Just like Eurovision, I would imagine there will be a variety of sounds at the American Song Contest. America has, of course, a very rich and diverse musical heritage. Potential sounds would be bluegrass, American country, pop, ballads, soul, gospel, rock, etc. It will be exciting to see and hear though what they do bring. It's really hard to say at this moment, but judging by my recent post on my Eurovision debate Facebook group, there's a real mixed reaction to the upcoming American Song Contest. Time as always will tell. Who knows? Now that Flo Rida has gotten the Eurovision bug, perhaps, just perhaps, he could be persuaded to take part in the American Song Contest.